Good morning, Tucson. Welcome to Mineral City TV. I'm your host, Raymond Hall. It's a beautiful day here in Tucson, and it's opening weekend here at Mineral City. We're going to take a tour through, again, through Building D. There's our map. We're going to step in and have a, work, have a word with Carp Mining. And Ivan, come on in. Let's take a look. He specializes in Russian minerals from Delnogorsk, but also has a great variety of material from Burma and Namibia. Thank you, Hello. Ivo. Hello. Great to meet you. Welcome. Thanks for joining <laughs> us with the show. Uh, tell us a little bit about your company and where you're from. I am from Czech Republic, and I have a business partner, Václav, and we are coming since 1993 to Tucson. Oh, fantastic. And we opened a company in the United States as well. It's called Carp. Great, great. So I hear you are the man with the Sparolite. Right. Can you tell <laughs> us a little bit about that? Maybe we can take a look at a couple pieces. Right. The Sparolite is the only platinum-containing mineral that you can see by your eye that forms so big crystals you can see them, except native platinum. Sure. It's platinum arsenide, chemical formula is PTAS2, and uh, it's, uh, it, it, it needs to be clean from matrix, which is mostly chalcopyrite and mixture of copper and nickel sulfides. Is this new yeah. production or old production? Um, it's been, yeah. The production, Both? it's older and newer, it's mixed up. Mixed, sure. Yeah, okay. But I, sh I clean, I do all preparation myself, and I clean always a few dozens, tens of dozens specimens for each show. Sure, each no, show. yeah. No, they're really cool. Look, I mean, they're great crystal forms. Uh, hopefully the camera was able to pick up some of these nice crystal faces yeah. on some of these. They're really quite sharp and lustrous. Uh, so down below, I see we've got some new Delnogorsk material. Correct. This is my most interesting Delnogorsk min, uh, material for the show. These are pseudomorphs of calcite and pyrite after fluorite. Can we take a look at one or two of those? Absolutely. They certainly have a lot of sparkle, which is, ooh, which is so our favorite. This is, mineralogically, it's very interesting. Yeah, it's very and it's also nice. We usually pseudomorphs are not nicest. Not always. Minerals. Not always. They're uh, not always pretty. They tend to be gray yes. or black or ugly. And these are pretty nice. And so, this is great yeah. how just, you know, the exposed edges showing all that color. So this That's used a good to be, one. This used to be fluoride. And you see it's completely replaced by, by calcite. Very um, cool. Well, as I mentioned before, he also specializes in material from Burma and Namibia. So we're going to take a second to walk over to another case and see what else you brought for Tucson this year. Oh, and yeah, we are specialized in Burmese minerals as well. You can see spinels, rubies, uh, tourmaline, topazes. But what uh, most tourmaline. people are coming for is uh, our phenakite. All these are twins. And sometimes, Jimmy, some of these crystals have very nice drill bit termination. But yeah. The popularity so, of phenakite in the last few years has really just gone through yes, the roof. Yes, yes. So it's great to know that there's plenty here. <laughs> <coughs> well, you can't help but notice the amethyst when you walk in the room. It's very <laughs> eye-catching, the saturation of color and the huge crystals. Let's take a look at some of those. So how did you start to source this material? Oh, it was the idea of my business partner, Václav. He started to go to Namibia in 2010 or 11, I would say, 2011. And he has made a great job there, you know, driving up and down <laughs> Namibia, <laughs> and he's, uh, he was able to get such a good stuff. Yeah, it's he, not he, easy. Yeah, actually, if you want to work seriously in Namibia, still, it's, uh, it's Africa, it's a little bit complicated. Of course. And yeah, he works hard, and uh, that's why we have such a nice stuff. Yeah, he uh, certainly has a good eye. There, yeah. uh, every piece yeah, is really yeah. outstanding overall. Yeah. Can we take a look at one or two yeah, pieces? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Sure. As soon as we get... Uh, the camera out of the way. 
Uh, we are specialized in what we call scepter crystals. Like, yeah, this is typical scepter. Beautiful scepter formations on lots of pieces in here. And it's not just amethyst. There's other Arango material and Namibian stuff in the case as well. Beautiful material. Thank you so much. Oh, we're going to take a look at people. You want to pull one out so we can take oh, a look up close? Oh, let's see. Which one's your favorite? Uh, my favorite. Good question. <laughs> Good I would say question. my favorite is this over one. There. <laughs> but that see. one's locked. Okay, let's we'll see. leave that yeah. one over there for now. <laughs> You see that the color is amazing. Yeah. Yep, nice. full saturation in those yeah. crystals. I, I, I do like the ones that aren't necessarily oh, always yeah, fully and saturated phantom, and just have phantom. that phantom of color zone right up the center. All right, well, thank you so much for taking some time oh, to show welcome. us your stuff. You're it was welcome. great to meet you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> thank, uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. It's Mineral City TV. We'll be back at 1 p.m. Mountain Time to introduce you to another dealer here at the show. Thanks, everyone. Okay.